A YSU graduate whose work includes the Ancient Aliens TV series on the History Channel is debuting his latest project, a documentary on former Congressman Jim Traficant. When I was growing up, he was already a folk hero. I'm Michael Moliterno. Today we take you to the preview screening held by the YSU Political Honor Society in the new YSU. This is from Jim Traffigan to the IRS and the FBI. Go I'm just a son of a truck driver. Forget this Congress business. I think of the hairdo. Do I do my hair with a weed whacker? I admit. I think of the rants. I say, Mr. Speaker, the IRS has turned into a bunch of political prostitutes. He was not a milk toast guy. I mean, he was in your face all the time. Congress hasn't done their job. He was quite a character. I love America, but hate the government. A darn good politician. I think of beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up here. Oh, I've heard not good things, but I've also heard that a lot of people in our community really, really loved him. I think he's the best politician uh, in my 66 years of life. I think some people found him obnoxious. You're looking at a junkyard dog in the face of a hurricane. He knew his constituency, he knew his enemies and his friends, and he uh, he, he didn't take any prisoners. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the film. Warren native Eric Murphy says he was aware of Jim Traficant from a very early age. Sunday afternoons around the dinner table at Grandma's house, it was Jesus Christ, JFK, Jim Traficant. Uh -huh. Those were the topics of conversation. After graduating from YSU in 1999, Murphy began volunteering for Traficant's eventual successor, Tim Ryan. Kind of at that point, I was bit by the filmmaking bug, and not coincidentally, all of this stuff just happened at the same time, and I knew that this was my story to tell. My first memory of trafficking is vivid. We were the second biggest still producing city in the world. Our, our mandate was to get as many first person accounts. So you're going to see a lot of people saying, I. I did this with Jim, I did this against Jim. And then I used Boom Boom Mancini and Ed O'Neill as the color commentators, if you look at it like a sports booth analogy. We had our differences. Former Mahoning County Republican Party Chairman William Binning is one of those interviewed for the film. I had a s sense of his, some of his political gifts, his gifts, of, mm -hmm. uh, especially with, uh, w with the media and the kinds of uh, issues he would express, etc. So he, he, had, uh, he had natural talent. He was always there for the, the people, the working people and he did what was right for the area. Many who attended the screening came in with little knowledge of the film's subject. What do your classmates know of Jim Traffigan? Um, not a lot because most of us are very familiar with Congressman Ryan, so that's pretty much who we know all about. I'm not from the Youngstown area originally. I've only been in the area for about four years, and I've always been interested in, in learning more about the history of the area, and in particular this very interesting figure. I want to know more because I, I have, I'm a political science major, I have, I'm very interested, and I also think um, there's a lot of parallels with uh, Jim Traffigan and Donald Trump, um, and just I would like to know more about that and more about why people say that. Well, I think a younger audience, people that don't have a first-hand account of him, I'm quite eager to see what they say. Mm -hmm. We've screened it at Cleveland State uh, earlier in the week. They were enamored by him. They don't have an emotional or visceral connection to him, so they kind of took it as, you know, he's outlandish, he's hilarious, he says very inappropriate things. Two federal courthouses downtown, one on each corner, Plus he saw, he, he, he got the vote for the, uh, what is now the Cavelli Center, he right. got the money for the Cavelli Center for voting for the Republican speaker. And I think a lot of people resent the fact that none of that is named after him. So federal officials would suggest that Trafficant, like Youngstown, is more than slightly crooked. But ultimately, I think they're going to realize that this guy had so much talent, so much charisma, could have truly been a transformational figure of the Mahoning Valley and squandered it. You know, ultimately at the end of the day, I think that's the assessment that most clear-eyed people would say that he had this great opportunity and it became about him fighting DC rather than trying to utilize DC to help our area. Trafficant, the congressman of Crime Town, will be screened this Saturday and Sunday at the Youngstown Playhouse and can be seen now on Vimeo.